We're going to turn it over now to two very talented people that you may recognize from the world of ice dancing. That's Maya and Alex Shubatani. They are better known as the Ship Sibs. I love that. Huh. Their artistry and athleticism has won fans, won over many, many fans. And look at these guys on this gold medal winning performance at the U.S. Nationals in 2016. The siblings have two Olympic bronze medals, three world medals, and eight U.S. national medals, wow. including two national championships. You go, Shubatanis. They're also new members of the U.S. Figure Skating Hall of Fame. Now they're out. Look at this with a new children's book. It's called Amazing Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders Who Inspire Us All. It features 36 trailblazers, everyone from well-known figures like the Grammy-winning we know, Rock, Grammy-winning artist Her, and Vice President Kamala Harris, to lesser-known people like White House Executive Chef, that's Chris, Chris Comerford, I remember her, astronaut Kalpana Chawla, who have helped shape America. Maya and Alex Shubatani, we're very glad to say, are joining us in the studio. Bravo, bravo, Welcome. guys. It's yes. really, really good to have you here. And yeah, can I just say, us. well done, well done. I learned a lot reading the book, so I have to thank you for that. But I love, guys, how you said, listen, everybody, open your imaginations. These people persevered for themselves and for others. And you say it's very important to say Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. Why, Alex? The goal of this book is to uplift both communities. Because um, it's not all monolithic. Definitely not. not. All, yes. it's, it's such a vast and diverse community, group of communities. And mm -hmm. so uh, we want to create this book, and we're so excited for people to read it uh, because we think it'll be an amazing thing for the next generation. Yeah. yeah. How did you narrow it down to 36, Maya? It was That's extremely what I thought was challenging. Good. And yeah. how did you get it to one paragraph? That's the other thing. It's so well done. 36 is certainly not the be-all, end-all. Hopefully this will just be a wonderful introduction for people to the Asian American and Pacific Islander communities. And with the paragraph, we want to share more about each figure yes. than just one sentence. And so that combined with the beautiful illustrations will be great for readers of all ages. Now, Alex, right. go, go ahead. ahead. Well, go ahead. There's one case in particular I wanted to talk about. The 14th Amendment says anyone born on American soil is right. an American citizen, but right. that had not been challenged until there was a case in the 1800s, an right. Asian American trying to return from China. He had been born here. Yes. He was stopped and went all the way to the Supreme Court. Tell us what happened in that case. Wong Kim Ark. He's the first figure featured in our book, Amazing. Uh, his story is incredibly impactful, like you mentioned. Uh, he was born in San Francisco, and upon returning to the United States after a trip to China, was uh, barred from entering. Uh, and he fought for his rights, and that is why any child born in the United States now has birthright citizenship. It's an amazing, amazing mm -hmm. tale. Did you feel, <clears throat> one of the things that's always difficult is, and why authors like you are so important, is because you don't see books like this when you were children growing up. You right. didn't find yourself represented in either film or television or in literature. Um, talk to me about what it's like now to have young children who are going to have access to these stories. The one that Tony just pointed out, which I promise you most people do not know Did about. not know. Oh. Tony, that was the example I was going to give, too. Yeah. I, that yeah. exact example. I didn't thought, know wow, it. I didn't know that. It's going to be incredible for the next generation to go into a bookstore, see a cover like this with all those different faces on it, right next to the word amazing, and for that to be their normal. Because you're right, we didn't grow up with a book like this. And there are real world implications when it comes to a lack of visibility and representation in education, in media. And so we hope that this book can kind of contribute to furthering the cause and taking us forward. But Alex, when you were growing up, did you both think there are no books that look like me? I used to think that about dolls. I never thought that. Did you, did you actually have that thought when you were a little kid? I think that when you're reading a book, you can empathize with a character even if you don't see yourself. And so what we hope with this book is that, yes, it is for the next generation of Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders, but we want it to reach the hands of kids everywhere. Um, because that empathy, that understanding, and then eventually, hopefully, respect will follow them through the rest of their lives and how they treat others. Yeah, I've heard you say it's a children's <laughs> book, but it has worldwide implications. What do you mean? Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know, when we were thinking about this project and wanting to create this book, it was the middle of the pandemic, or I guess, like, the, the early stages of the pandemic, mm -hmm. and the Asian American and Pacific Islander communities were experiencing a serious uptick in violence and hate, hate crimes, yeah. uh, and we want wanted to do something to, to help. Uh, and in addressing kind of the core issue, we do believe that education and that understanding is so important, especially at a young age. And unfortunately, AAPI history is not required curriculum nationwide. And so while this Should book is, I, I think it should be mm -hmm. because, you know, it's American history. 
Right. And, and so we feel strongly about that. And we hope that this book is something that can maybe get families engaged and have these conversations before kids get to school. Yeah, because um, Maya, Alex said something that's really important, I think, which is that, yes, you know, you want uh, members of the Asian American community, Pacific Islanders, to read this book um, and perhaps see themselves represented. But there's a whole world out there of people who don't know these stories who are not members of the AAPI community. And you want them to read this, too. Shouldn't just be for kids yes. who are Asian Americans Agreed. or are Pacific Islanders. Agreed. Definitely, definitely. Yes, and that's why it was important for us to have historic and contemporary figures as well. You guys always get along this well, number one. I love watching <laughs> On the Eyes Together. I saw you in the green room. Uh -huh. You clearly look at each other. You're very engaged with each other. And, and, Do you get on each other's nerves? Do you ever argue? Do you, what is the deal with this? Alex is a great older brother. We're a great team. I saw the, the earlier segment, by the way. Uh, not as much family feuding yeah. uh, for us. Uh, we're a great team. We've always gotten along really well since we were kids. And I think that that's been so valuable in sort yes. of us being able to aim high and try to accomplish our goals, whether it be on the ice or now with this book. It's amazing. Watching you guys trade off. No yeah, I know. I like it. No stepping on each other. It's. Well, I think the two of you are amazing. Thank, thank, thank you, you so you. much. Thank bravo, you. bravo. It's well very done. well done. And Appreciate it's beautiful, it. too. Yeah. Love the illustration. Thanks for being here. Maya and Alex Shubatani, the book is called Amazing. It's on sale now wherever you like to buy your books.